So Robert Downey Jr. appears to be in a little bit of a financial mess. He's uh, stuck a lot of money into a couple of restaurants, and it looks like that might not be doing very well for him this year. He sounds broke. Or is he broke? It kind of seems like something might be going on where he's trying to save a little bit of money on alimony payments. Let's take a look what's going on here. But first, a word from the sponsor of this video. That's, of course, Ridge Wallet. Been using this wallet since about November of 2019, and I've never been happier than when I switched off of a big, bulky, bifold wallet in my back pocket that used to really kind of hurt my back from sitting on it so much because, you know, you're always on that upper slant when you sit on a big, fat wallet. This has been much better. I just put it in my front pocket, and I go about my day, and it doesn't bother me. And they're also pretty cool-looking and pretty slick. Very cool design. You just open up the front here. It's the size of a business card. Throw your credit cards in there. Whatever you need. What do you need, though? You don't keep like a bunch of unnecessary stuff in there. And that's kind of the key. You're not sticking a bunch of weird things in your wallet all the time. You just keep what you need, which I like. You can either get a money clip or you can get a band like you see on the steel version to the right. They're also a great company. They stand with creators. They haven't ditched any creators over, over stupid things. They like free speech. And they're also... They also make a really good product. Go to their website. In the link in the description, you will find a link to Ridge.com. Go there. Check out their stuff. Check out the reviews. If they don't delete any reviews, you're going to get an honest picture of the company. And also, they have lifetime warranties on the wallets. This, this will be the last wallet you ever need. So go to the checkout. Save 10% off by using code FLASH. Check out the link in the description. And give them a look. I think you're going to like what you see on their website. Thanks for watching. Here's the rest of the video. So, is De Niro broke? Let's take a look at what they have to say here. So, the beer bug dealt a massive financial blow to the actor's finances. He revealed in court as his estranged wife asked for an emergency order to raise her monthly American Express card limit from 50000 to 100000 Oof. Even just fifty thousand dollars. Imagine having to pay somebody fifty grand a month for I don't even know how long. Sometimes it's years. Isn't that crazy? Talk about a bill, man. And then to a hundred thousand. You know nobody likes paying that, even if you're rich. So I think De Niro has said he has like five hundred million dollars to his name. But still, man, that is that is a tough pill to swallow. Paying that much money. Oh, I would be furious every time I sent the money. I would be so angry all the time, like thinking, oh, man, I got to pay all this money. Though she does have two kids with him. I don't know how old they are is the thing. I'm not sure on how old his kids are with her. They can't be that young. I and mean, the dude's like 900 years old at this point. So I'm not sure. Anyway, the Irishman actor appeared by phone on a Skype call in his Manhattan divorce case with Grace Hightower as her lawyer told a judge that De Niro unfairly cut her monthly uh, Amex, which is that credit card, I'm guessing, allowance from 100000 to 50000 and said, and said she and their children had been banned from an upstate compound where De Niro is staying during the pandemic. Well, I mean, your ex-wife... Why would he want you at his compound? Now that, the kids should be allowed to go there. She could be making that up. Divorce stuff is always, it's always nasty every time. But uh, if his kid, his kids should be allowed to come stay with him. I don't, I don't think he's saying they can't. She just can't. I wouldn't want her there either. I wouldn't want my ex hanging around with me in my, in my house. Get, get out of here. The kids can stay. They don't need to go, but you got to go. I don't want you here. You know, you I've given you all this money. Go rent out. Go once you go rent out a hotel or something for for the time being. I don't want you here. I kind of got to side with Robert De Niro on that one. Kids can stay. You got to go. I don't need you here. I'd ban you out too. And the ex living around in your house with you. What is that? Anyway, just how wealthy is Robert De Niro? So here's the interesting thing. So he invested a lot of money into a couple of restaurants. And if you know about restaurants right now, they're hurting 
A lot of hospitality services are really hurting right now because of old beer buggy. And, you know, a lot of states, if restaurants are even open, a lot of them are like 25, 50% capacity, which, you know, it's nice to make some money, but you can't make all of your money that way. It hurts. You know, you can't bring everybody in. It's hurting your business, especially a high end business like this which probably didn't even have a, a bunch of tables to begin with because they charge so much per plate. Uh, anyway, but lawyers for De Niro said he cut Hightower's credit card limit because he's taking a huge financial hit as a restaurant chain, as the restaurant chain Nobu and Greenwich Hotel, both of which he has stakes in, have been closed partially for months with barely any business. De Niro's lawyers Caroline, Caroline Krauss told the judge that Nobu lost $3 million in April and another $1.87 million in May, and he has had to pay investors $500,000, about $500,000 on a capital call, which he borrowed money from his business partners to make because he doesn't have the cash. Krauss also explained that under the terms of their 2004 prenuptial agreement, De Niro is only required to pay Hightower $1 million a year as long as he's making $15 million, or more in income, and if his income declines, his payments to her proportionally do too. So here's the thing. It's hard to say. He could be broke because celebrities live with, definitely they don't live within their means usually, and they blow a lot of money on stupid, ridiculous stuff. I would imagine De Niro does the same thing. He kind of seems like he does, and... He probably is strapped for cash quite a bit. I mean, he's not making any money. What's There's nothing shooting right now. There's no movies to make, no TV shows to be in. And it sounds like he invested a lot of money in these restaurants, which from what I was gathering on them, I did a little bit of Googling to find out, you know, about these restaurants. And it seems like, you know, before everything hit, these restaurants were bringing in big money. They were doing well and making quite a bit of cash. And well, as you know, Beer Buggy brought everything to a halt. And he's probably not raking all that money anymore, which I'm sure is not you know, a good look for him. And like most businesses, he's got a, you know, they're, they're bleeding through money and I'm sure he's using personal cash to try to keep it going. However, I do think He's trying to pull one over on the books here to not have to pay his ex-wife $100,000 a month, which is a lot of money, a lot of money. But then here's the other thing. It says that his restaurant took out a lot of PPP loans from the government. So a lot of that money was guaranteed. So I kind of think he's pulling a fast one here. His accounts and business manager says that the best at that the best case for Mr. De Niro, if everything starts to turn around this year, he's going to be lucky if he makes $7.5 million this year, his lawyer said. Isn't that crazy? Oh, he's going to be lucky if he makes $7.5 million. Most people making like forty to fifty to 60000 a year. This guy's like, oh, I'm going to lose a couple of million. I could probably live. I could probably, if you gave me a million bucks, I could probably live on that for the rest of my life and never have to work again. I could, I could live on a million dollars for the rest of my life. This guy's complaining because he's losing a couple of million. Get out of town, man. Krauss added that proceeds from Netflix to the Irishman have mostly already been paid out, and he's likely to just get $2.5 million in 2020 and 2021. Oh, goodness. He might, have to, he might have to cut back on a few bottles of wine here and there. Maybe buy a, maybe he has to buy the Boone's Farm line. You know, like the cheap stuff with the boat on it on the bottom shelf. He'll have to drink that for now with his Italian dinners. And a movie project that De Niro was scheduled to begin filming this summer in Oklahoma has been put on hold, Cross said. These people, in spite of his robust earnings, have always spent more than he has earned. So this 76-year-old robust man couldn't retire even if he wanted to because he can't afford to keep up with his lifestyle expense, Krauss said, adding that De Niro has begun cutting back spending dramatically. And that's the thing. I do think he might be low on some money. He's still got millions of dollars in the bank. Let's not even kid. The guy could retire tomorrow and live a more modest life for sure, uh, but he doesn't want to. 
these Hollywood people, they see themselves as elites. They see themselves as like, a, uh, they see themselves as better than you. First off, they're better than you. They're a higher species of human or something. They see you as filth. I mean, that's, that's pretty obvious. They don't want to live like you. They don't want to be you. That's like their worst nightmare. So yeah, I do think that he is probably, he's probably low on a lot of money, but I don't think he's broke by any means. He's got enough that I could live a very happy life forever in his, in his bank account probably right now. But to him, that's like, he's almost one step from being homeless or something because he's only got 4 million in the bank instead of 30. You know what I'm saying? He can't get 35 personal drivers tomorrow. Oh no. So De Niro accuser fires back after actor dismisses bombshell audio. A high towers lawyer, Kevin McDonough fired back. The idea that Mr. De Niro is tightening his belt is nonsense. Mr. De Niro has used the beer thing. And in my words would be to stick it to his wife financially. He said, I'm not a believer that the man who has admitted worth has an admitted worth of 500 million and makes 30 million a year. All of a sudden in March needs to cut down his spousal support by 50% and ban her from the house. Well, I don't, why is he, why is she coming to the house? Like, and let's, I want to be fair to Robert De Niro here. Um, he gives her enough money. Can't she go buy her own damn house? <laughs> why does she need to go to his house? That's stupid. I don't agree with that. But, you know, the alimony thing, hey, that is what it is. It's California. You knew what you were doing. So uh, going from, it's it's obvious to me he's kind of cooking the books here a little bit so he doesn't pay 100 and wants to pay her 50. If he could have his way, I'm sure he'd pay a lot more or a lot less than that. Probably nothing. I mean, I, I, that would be ideal, right? But uh, she doesn't need to go hang around his house. Go buy your own damn house. They're divorced. That that I got to side with De Niro on. But I don't think he's completely broke. But I do think that he's probably cut a lot of his cash on, his cash down, especially over the past seven months, if you think about it. nothing, No, no money's coming in, like most people. And there's no work. He's invested a bunch of money in these restaurants that he's got to help pay and, and keep up because he's got huge stakes in them. So I do think he's went through quite a bit of cash. I don't think he's broke, though. I really don't think he's broke. It's pretty obvious. I think that his ex-wife's lawyer does make a good point that he just wants to pay less money in alimony. And I don't feel too bad for him there because you know what you're getting into. But at the same time, I think alimony, it, you don't need to pay it forever. I think you know if if she was a stay-at-home mom, and stuff like that, then yeah, for a little while, but you should have to get back on your feet eventually. You can't sit here and take these alimony payments for years and years. I disagree with that. But anyway, uh, Manhattan Supreme Court Justice Matthew Cooper issued a temporary ruling that De Niro should keep Hightower's credit card limit at 50000 a month and pay her 75000 so she can find a summer home for their two kids while De Niro and his other children remain in his three-house compound upstate. I'm not requiring at this point that Mr. De Niro restore the credit card to 100000 Cooper said. 50000 seems to be certainly enough to avoid irreparable harm. So they filed, they've been on and off since 97, filed for divorce in 2018, and they share two kids, uh, Helen, 8, and Elliot, 21. Divorced in 1999 and patched things up again in 2004. So the Elliot 21, he's, he's, he's old enough. I don't see what's going on there. Uh, the other one though, being eight years old, uh, yeah, she still has a long way to go. Why are you having kids that young when you're like 79,000 years old, Robert? <laughs> what are you doing, De Niro? Why are you having kids when you're like ready to get into the casket, man? <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Anyway, I don't know. I think uh, it's pretty obvious he doesn't want to pay her the money. But I do think that he probably is running out of cash. Like I said, these guys, these super rich elite celebrities, they're like drinking like, you know, $1,000 bottles of wine all day, having like extravagant meals cooked for them by personal chefs. They, they spend a lot of money, and they don't really think about it. They think it's going to come in forever, and it's not. 
and they don't really prepare. And I really do wonder how much money he has left. Uh, De Niro has been kind of a hothead, always obsessed with the orange man. So, you know, I will only laugh at him if something bad happens. Cause he's, he's crazy, great actor, but he's definitely, uh, got a really bad case of the TDS and been going a little crazy over the past couple of years. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think he's broke or do you think he's just trying to cheat out on his alimony a little bit? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you would throw a like up, share the video, make sure you still subscribe, subscribe, if you're new, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.